The routine pre-shift check is a simple and easy way to make sure that your machine is ready to get to work. Looking for potential hazards will save you inconvenience and the cost of downtime during your shift. The front is a good place to start. Make sure there's no damage to the lights, the mirrors, the windscreen, the safety railings and the cooling package. Look underneath at the inside walls of both the tyres and the front axle to ensure no oil leaks or tyre damage. The front left tyre is first to be inspected. Take a look at the tread, the sidewall, the rim, the bead and lock, the hub, the final drive and lastly the valve. Make sure the valve cap is on. This is our articulation safety bar. Make sure it's disconnected and in its stowed position before operating the truck. Also, take a look at the decals that show you articulation lip points and danger points. This is our tyre information chart that shows the different tyre pressure specs for the three axles according to your choice of tyre. This is our periodic maintenance chart that shows the different inspection locations of the track as well as the 10-hour maintenance checkpoints. For more information on this, check out the operator's manual. In this area, we have to do a quick check. We're looking for loose wiring and piping. Inspect the Arctic, steering cylinder, transfer box oil side glass, prop shaft, oscillation tube grease seal, and hydraulic hoses and wiring. Continue the quick check along the cylinders, making sure no oil is running down the barrel, and make sure that the greasing hose is connected. Inspect the back tires, just as the front tire, and you are ready to go. Looking at the back, we need to see if the turn signals, the brake lights, the reverse lights, the camera, the decals and the reflective strips are intact. We also have a central grease point underneath here and sandwich blocks. Watch out for tears and cracks. As we did in the front, look at the inside walls of the tyres and the axle housing. There are no signs of oil here, so we are good to go. And again, inspect the back tyres. Move down the cylinder on this side and see if the greasing hose is connected. We then move forward to inspect our front tyre. On the front right nose cone, we have the diesel tank with a colour-coded green cap. And in emissions regulated markets, we have a filling point for diesel exhaust fluid, which has a blue cap. For interest sake, the cap for hydraulic oil is always colour-coded black. Now we're ready to climb inside. Make sure the rails and steps are in good order and for safety's sake, use the three points of contact. One, two, three. Make sure the isolator switch is on before going inside the cab. Get comfortable and strapped in. In front of me, we have the color display unit, or CDU, which can be operated from the B drive right over here. Next to me, we have the seal switch module, or the SSM, which controls the functions of the truck. We also have our automatic bonnet control, mirror control, and emergency stop button. At our steering wheel, we have our steering column switch with a horn attached to it. It also enables our turning signals, as well as our main beams. To start, press the green button on the SSM. This wakes up the CDU. Enter the security code. The default setting is the last four digits of the VIN number, but up to eight personalized four digit codes can be assigned to different operators. Press the green button a second time to start up the engine. The horn will sound twice. Press the D button to move forwards and the horn will sound once. Press the R button to reverse and the horn will sound twice. Before we get started, we have to check our oil levels, and we do that by pressing our menu button in the bottom right of our B drive. This will open up our service info page. Click on the diagnostic heading and see your daily checks. Ensure that everything is checked before you get going. If you have a bowel inspection checklist, date it and write down any notes on defects at the operator's comments section. After you finish your shift, Press the red stop button on the SSM to shut down. Don't be alarmed if the engine doesn't immediately switch off. 
This is the turbo spin down process. This process protects the engine and can take between five and 120 seconds to complete, depending on how hard the engine has been working. Don't forget to switch off the isolator switch and lock it out if necessary. The light will stay on until the machine systems shut down. As you can see, the pre-shift inspection is quick and straightforward and should be the first step to ensure proper care of the Bell ADT. Watch our other YouTube videos to get more information on features such as the SSM, B-Drive and how to operate the Bell ADT.